The whole world is in chess. Any move can be the death of you. Do anything except remain where you started, and you can't be sure of your end. None of us know our end, really, or what hand will guide us there. A king may move a man. A father may claim a son. That man can also move himself. And only then does that man truly begin his own game. Remember, howsoever you are played, or by whom, your soul is in your keeping alone. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Deciphering My Experience. My name is Eric, and let's just get right into things today. I was very happy to um, get a couple of emails that the uh, television production crews that I've worked with in the past are still out there doing stuff and interested. Um, one of the shows that I had made a pilot for previously that did not get to air, that production company reached out to me about doing something else. So that's really cool. Um, and then the other production company that I worked with where we actually made an episode, I thought it was never going to get to air. Who knows what's going on? Maybe it was, you know, I, I was thinking it was a cover-up thing because it's UFOs and maybe they asked me to do it just to waste my time. I don't know. Um, but either way, I got contacted by those folks again and they're looking for some photos and more info and things like that. So maybe this will actually get to air and you guys can see that I hosted a television show, which is kind of cool. Um, I do plan on doing more in that capacity. I, I did get um, the green light from the folks at Roku, so I do still look forward to getting involved with them. Um, there's a channel called Fringe TV that has um, allotted me a slot to produce some content for, so I look forward to getting to that. I've been dialing my studio. A lot of folks do know that, um, but it is getting there. The website is up and running, which, by the way, if I could always just... Uh, remind folks to check the links below because deciphering.tv is up and running. And as everybody knows, this is not the greatest platform for spreading truth and freedom anymore. But if you want to be here, please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Or if you're looking for more truth, then just check the links below. Go to deciphering.tv and I have extra content over there. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, I do hope that people will subscribe let way I can just have emails. That's all I'm really trying to do, folks, is then that way if I get deplatformed or whatever happens. I'm just trying to make an email list so that I don't lose everybody. Um, so if you could help me out with that, it just makes things grow. So I look forward to people joining me on deciphering.tv. But back to the conversation at hand today. Uh, for many years, I have said that you can look at the history of the world, and, and we've heard the phrase, you know, if you, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. I, I like the logic behind that, and I would say that we can see that that's evident in society around us. But following that logic, I would say that you can look at this recycling history and reduce it down to one common cycle that's going on over and over and over again. And that cycle is simply this. The boot of the wealthy will step on the throat of the poor until such time the poor rise up and kill them. Now, I'm not suggesting that this is a desired activity. I'm just saying that it's an observation of what's already occurred over and over and over again. I recently came across a clip which was amazing to me because I've had this mindset for quite some time, but I never really heard it said in another way. But oddly enough, I came across this clip, and this is, this is George Orwell, the author of 1984, who's basically on his deathbed. And this is apparently his last warning to the world. I hadn't heard this before. So I'm going to pull it up because I feel it's like kind of on par for what I was saying. So let's see what we have going on here and how fast I can make this all pop up for you folks. We'll do a little switcheroo. You once claimed that you have an ability to face unpleasant facts. You demonstrated in 1984 by drawing an accurate portrait of the future. 
I think that allowing for the book being, after all, a parody, something like 1984 could actually happen. This is the direction the world is going in at the present time. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage, triumph and self-abasement. The sex instinct will be eradicated. We shall abolish the orgasm. There will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. But always there will be the intoxication of power. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you. Don't let it happen, folks. It depends on you. That's the message. This could be coming to a town near you. This wasn't that many years ago. This footage is from the Ukraine. I would say that the local leadership failed them. And they let it happen to them. And I don't want to see this happening in the streets by us. But I very much feel that this has been the agenda for many factions, um, even though they pretend that this isn't their goal. This is the momentum, folks. This is the energy and the direction that we're being pushed in. I don't like it. It's not what I want. But history seems to have a way of repeating itself, and a lot of people seem to like to ignore history. So, if you don't want this to happen, you actually have to do something about it, because there are those that do want this to happen. And you have to understand that. You have to know that there are folks that absolutely want this to happen. So, if you're against that, you're on my side. I do not want civil war. I do not want violence. But I also do not want the march to continue in this direction indefinitely. So, my name is Eric. This is Deciphering My Experience. And if you're against a civil war, you're on the same side as I am. But we the people will always do what's best for the people. So... This is Eric, Deciphering My Experience, signing off. Like, subscribe, share. Go to deciphering.tv and do everything that you need to do to keep this from happening in the future. Be well.